Hi everybody, I'm Jesse Green. Welcome to my studio, Beethoven Boy Productions. I'm a little sick today, so forgive me. But I wanted to explain the difference between mixing and mastering, not from a technical perspective, but more from a perspective of a potential client, uh, maybe singer, songwriter, hip hop artist, you know, somebody who's got their music and they're thinking about, you know, going the next step, getting it professionally mixed and mastered. What's the difference? Why do you need them? Why do you maybe not need them? Hopefully this will help you out. I've heard a lot of times people say, hey, you know, we'll, we'll just leave that for the mastering phase. Don't worry about this. The mastering engineer will fix this. The mastering is where all the magic happens. I, I don't know where it comes from, but to me, the magic happens in the mixing phase. When I get a track to get mastered, I, and hopefully the client, really expects there to be not much of a difference. Uh, I'm just making the track fit to a technical standard, doing some little touch-ups here, uh, maybe bring in some more high end or low end, whatever it is, but I'm not going to change the track drastically. The magic to me is in the mixing phase. I'm going to show you a pricing model that will show you like, hey, you know, this is really where all the work is. To me, it's in the mixing. This isn't to say that mastering is not important. It's very important. However, if the track isn't mixed well, it's not going to master well. You know, it's a filter down process. If I only had a choice to choose one or the other, I would go put all my money in mixing. So check this next part out. Hopefully it explains a little to you. This is the mastering pricing schedule by Universal, and they're you know pretty big guys. They got some big names, good talent. So let's see what they offer. For each song, it's $75 to master. And every fourth song, they give you a freebie. You can see right there and there. Not quite 25% off, but... Um, you know, you get the idea. So they also ask, or I should say they answer, you know, do we do mixing? They say, yes, of course. So let's check out their little page here. So here is their mixing pricing schedule. And as you can see, it is $725. And that's assuming that each project has 40 or less tracks. Now, for some people, especially if you're doing, you know, a lot of live instrumentation, you might go over this because you're going to, um, you're going to track a lot of different things. So the price can go up. So as you can see, you know, money talks. This is where the magic happens. It's in the mixing phase, not the mastering. The mastering is just to offer a final set of ears, just some final polish, bring your track, your levels up, optimum levels, balance frequencies out. So, um, you know, hopefully this shows you that the mixing phase is where the magic really happens. It's not in the mastering. Otherwise, they would charge, you know, a lot less to do the mixing, a lot more to do the mastering. Uh, don't just take my word, but look at what other people are doing. So hopefully that shows you, you know, that the bulk of the work as far as, you know, what you're going to pay for really lies in the mixing phase, uh, not so much in the mastering phase. Me personally, I'll spend probably 8 to 16 hours in the mixing phase for, you know, pretty normal track. And I'll spend four to six hours mastering it, sometimes eight. But my mixing phase is usually two to three times longer than the mastering phase. Hopefully that explains the difference between mixing and mastering, at least from a financial point of view. And you could appreciate that the mixing is very important. So subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more tutorials, maybe some explanation videos as the time comes along. Thanks for watching.